Welcome back to the Ty Jerem Hanger. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about the Fans Toys Ethereum, but is it worth the wait? Is it worth the price? We are going to talk about all that. And then I'm going to show some pictures that y'all sent in of your Superions, what we have going on out there. But this has been a long five-year wait to complete this. First combiner from Fans Toys does it live up to the reputation? Does it disappoint? Curious what everyone thinks. And I'll tell you what I think coming up. All right, so everybody seems to be excited about Superion right now. And that's a good thing. That's what happens when something like this comes out. And I think very quickly, people are going to be very excited about getting into this Magic Square masterpiece Bruticus. Now the brawl, the price is up at Show Z. It's coming into stock, $115 at Show Z store. Remember TH Review Code. But I think this is gonna be every bit as big, exciting, and popular as this fan toy Superion. Haven't seen exactly the pictures, the color scheme, how it's gonna look when it's done, but I'm assuming based because it had the feet, the silver feet, it's gonna look like the one on the left. Uh, I believe. And then they'll probably come out with the all the same stuff in the colors for the one on the right. That's how they did it in the past and probably how they do it with the masterpiece. But there's no guarantees in life, so I'm jumping on the first go around and I'll probably jump on the second go around too. And for 115 per component, probably 140 for the main, the big bot, that's pretty reasonable for a combiner in 2024. So, what are the results of this Fans Toys Superior now that it's out? Well, I did review every figure. I did handle all the components. I haven't combined mine just yet. I seriously have not had time. I have got multitude of projects popping up that I have to take care of, but this does look really good. And I want to say that side by side with the first release of the Zeta, it does feel and look more premium, but Zeta did do a premium paint job on theirs and it gave kind of a metallic look, which they are very close when you see that. We'll see some comparisons sent by you guys here in just a little bit. But I will say that I think that it is a little bit better looking and it does present better than Zeta. And it, it's a nice looking bot. And it's pretty hefty. It stands relatively well. Now, uh, this is something that Zeta doesn't do. It doesn't do the whole transformation gimmick into a stand. And I personally will never use it. Some people might though. And I think people who have uh, multiple sets probably will do this with with their alt modes and then you have the combined mode. But then bot mode, there's really no use for the extra parts and components. But even if you bought Zeta, then you still had the extra parts and components if you decided to get Silverbolt. But you, hey, if, if you have to do that, it's not that big of a deal because it is the bigger bot it was a more expensive bot for 140 but nowadays you're buying the whole set so it's not that big of a deal but interesting inclusion you don't get with zeta now as i never really went to combine mode just yet i want to say that i'm just going to trust what other people are saying about this and they're saying that uh it does feel like it has really strong connections which i felt like the joints are really strong in the parts forming pieces but i'm also hearing that uh it can do the splits real easy on its own that's what bobby Skullface is saying that he showed that displayed that and then i'm also hearing that it has less articulation than zeta so zeta has more articulation points than this and you get a wider range of articulation from the zeta one than you do from this one that's just what i'm hearing and when i finally get around to doing all that i'll have a good comparison there but with that I do think it looks good, and I see most people with their A stances, and you will see kind of what everyone's stances are in when we look at those pictures here in a little bit. But that gets to the question, is it worth the time, the weight, and the price, and all of that? And that's going to be an individual question for each one of you. All right, so now we're going to get into price. Now, those of us who've been collecting since five years ago, when you got the first lease for 115 the second one was... Well, the first release was 180, which was the actual Maverick or the Silverbolt. And then after that, we got like Goose for 115 and then the next one was 130. And so those numbers don't matter anymore because if you don't have any of these, you've got to start from scratch. 
and I added this up. So three of them are 220, and that totals uh, 660. Then you add 250, and then 400. You're looking at 1310, and then over here tax is 1.09. So that is 1428. Uh, so that the price on that. So 1310 if you live in one of the what, five states that don't have sales tax, but the rest of the states you are paying uh, 1427 if you live outside the U.S. Uh, plus or minus. I hear outside the U.S. it's even more. That's what I'm hearing. So uh, for importing it from outside the U.S. Now if you get these at Shozy Store, then you're getting them a lot cheaper. I only don't have all the prices on all of these reissues just yet, but we do know it is instead of 400. It's 320 for the for the final one, the Jester that has the combining parts and all of that. But I'm going to stick with this number. Now, I got this from TF Source, also seeing that it's very similar at every other retailer, U.S. retailer. So that's why I'm going with these numbers, because this is what everybody's talking about and everybody's quoting. Now, I've heard people misquote this as low as 1,200 and 1,000. And again, I'm sure all of the other reissue ones will be cheaper at Shozy Store also, but I'm just saying I'm going with the 1400. Now, the contrast is everybody's comparing this to Zeta, and I understand that is exactly what I'm doing, and that's what everyone else is doing. And Zeta's 400. Now, you can look around and say someplace has it 459 or something like that, but it's easily a thousand dollar difference. Before, when I was kind of in my head, I was thinking it would be a $700 combiner if Fans Toys did it, $750. And at the end of the day, it's $1,400. If you, if you buy it now, if you kept up with it along the way, you could have gotten it significantly cheaper along the way. But it is officially a $1,000 difference if you have no Superion right now. And then you decide, hey, I'm going to buy a Superion. Now, I like to observe financial trends, economic trends, and I like to do this where I take a screen capture of what's going on on eBay. I, I'm searching the lowest price. There's one that's an auction, and it's at like two something, and it's got days left. That doesn't count because the, the number will spike up in the last 30 seconds on that. So, uh, Actually, if you look at Zeta, I thought people would be fire selling their Zetas. So there's a couple of things that I ascertain from the fact that we've seen this. It's been out for a couple of weeks now, for the most part. People have got them. I've got mine. We've got ours. But nobody's really fire selling their Zeta. There might be one or two people that got their fan toys and they're selling it. Now, there's two reasons why. Number one, some people are going to keep their Superion, Zeta Superion in combined mode and display their, their fan toys in the bot mode. Now, if you look around, you don't see very many pictures of Zeta's bots in bot mode. You don't see it. You'll see them in the alt mode a bit. You'll see Zeta definitely in combined mode everywhere. You just don't see the individual bot modes. There's a few pictures that individuals took of their own. And I've got to say it's because they don't look great. Now, I will say that it's been since 2019, since I've had mine in bot mode, and I'm, I'm not, I don't think they look as bad as I remember. I think they look a little better than I remember in the bot modes. But I still feel like Fans Toys is vastly superior. But the one thing that I, if I remember right from Zeta, they all form that, that jet backpack a little cleaner than what Fans Toys does. But it is, again, on the back. And you don't see the back for the most part. But comparing them side by side, Fans Toys blows Zeta away in the individual bot mode. So I'm going to throw that out there. That's something we've known for a long time, but it's still proof in the pudding. Uh, the only ones that are pretty close are the Silver Bolts. The Zeta Silver Bolt is really close to looking as good as the Fans Toys. Just for reference, you can look and see that on the left is the Zeta version of Silver Bolt, and on the right is the Fans Toys. And although there are some things that Fans Toys does better, there are some things that Zeta does better. I like the midsection of Zeta's better, but all in all, I will still give the bot modes overall to Fans Toys, and I have to say that if you're like me, you're displaying your Fans Toys in bot mode, 
Zeta Explain Mode. Getting back to this, and it's a curiosity, and I might be wrong on this, but I think the other reason you're not seeing collectors fire selling their Zeta is because a lot of the fans toys collectors waited for the fans toys. They passed on picking up Zeta for 400 so they can funnel all that money towards just building their fans toys. And I understand that, but that's also been a point of contention and anger and irritation that fans toys collectors have had for five years. And I think everyone thought it would take about two. And so it's three years longer than expected. All right, so we've had several people that have submitted their pictures of their Superions, whether it was Zeta or Fans Toys or whatever they were displaying as Superions. So I'm going to show those. We'll start with Streak Shooter, and he actually has his uh, YouTube channel. You go check him out. And this is a nice picture of on the left being the Fans Toys, right being Zeta. They are in different poses and stances. So they're sort of a mirror kind of a stance, but you can see the differences in them. And the differences are quite interesting now i don't have that sort of uh horseshoe upside down horseshoe kind of piece on my zeta mine actually just doesn't have that so it's uh mine looks different but i think you want to set them up to make them look as similar and close to each other as possible but looking at them there are some differences and you can see the differences in the figures but overall very very close a lot closer in look and aesthetic and just the presence than I even I expected. Here's the fans toys next to DX9's Omega Supreme. And as we saw, Omega Supreme was in the, the Vector Sigma episode that I did show a short clip of in the video yesterday where I reviewed the Superion. And so this is a really good comparison that he has put together and it, and it makes a lot of sense, but also size and scale. People were trying to say that the fan toys was going to be so much taller than all of the rest of them, but it's really about the same size as Zeta. Not, I mean, if it is any taller, it's just a, a fraction of an inch. And just straight up, uh, it's what he looks like. It looks good. So thanks for the pictures. Uh, very clean looking bot and uh, would love to know in the comment section below what you think about this figure versus the Zeta. All right, so we've got Gibbs set up right here. Thanks for sending some pictures in, and it looks really good. Looks to me like he is rocking the Zeta and using fans, toys, and bot mode. Same way, well, I have them on completely different shelves in completely different sections of the display, but he's going this route, which still looks cool too. Now, I'm thinking he's got some sort of custom legs on this this looks a little bit different on his zeta and let's uh get a better look at that a cleaner look so he did send this picture showing sort of a custom leg i don't know what's going on down there what's going on down there but it would be interesting to know more about that because i don't really remember so many add-on kits and upgrade kits have been available over the years especially since this, this thing's been out since 2019 and you could deck it out i think it looks really good it looks almost like walking off the cartoon. This is Jeremy's picture. And one thing I really want to point out about this picture and I like about it is the fact that you can really see the metallic gleaming off of this thing. And in a lot of the comparison photos that I've seen, videos I've seen, I didn't get that. I didn't get the level of metallic just coming off this. Now, does it really matter that I see metallic because I have them in person? Not really. I think it's for other people trying to make a decision. Other people that are out there looking at this and saying, which one do I want? And this picture should be helpful to you to see the premium paint, the premium that fans put into this. So anyway, thank you, Jeremy, for sending your picture in. Awesome stuff. This is Mark's picture. Mark, uh, got, put a little, little captain in you, right? He's a, his, <laughs> his fans has got a little captain in him. Uh, but it's uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, I like this pose. I like the look of this and uh, showing it what you can do with it. And what are you going to do with a giant bot? And that is great. I'm, I'm not sure if he made this and had this set up and was waiting for it to come in or if other things were there and it's like now it's 
it's Superion's turn to hang out there. But looks really good. It looks really good. Another picture from Mark, and looks pretty good too. This is in its probably in its home, in in the home display. I like the background. I like how that feels like it's part of the cartoon, and a lot of work looks like it went into it, and definitely paid off. Worthwhile. Love stuff like this. Really do. Looking at the way in the background, looks like every shelf is displayed as creatively as this. And this is Van's picture, and it is pretty cool uh, looking figure that he's got his fan toys put together and another one where you can see the metallic and I think that's important and I think a lot of people are going to appreciate that is it worth the extra grand that's up to you now the last thing I want to bring up and this is a question and this really spawned from yesterday's video with the G2 and there's not a whole lot of combiners that were remade in G2 uh, Devastator, and uh, I think they did cut several Bruticus's, and I believe there was supposed to be a G2 version of Minasaur, and it was really popular in Combiner Wars to get the G2 versions finally. But will Fans Toys do a G2? And if Fans Toys did a G2, are you in on $1,400 to buy that? And if they did a G2, would there be a premium going with it? Because it's probably a smaller production run and all of that. And I think I think if they did a G2, I'd be in. But that's just me, and that's just because I love Superior. If they did a G2 of Minnesota, no, I wouldn't be in on that. If they did it, And I didn't get in on the G2 with the X-Trans bots, Minnesota. But if Fansways did Superior in G2 colors, I would definitely be in. Would you? I think 70-80% would say no. Alright, so what everyone's saying about this, it feels like a bit of a mixed bag. Not that it's a bad figure at all, but more of that it's extremely expensive, long weight, and it's not that much better, not a thousand dollars better than Zeta. But is it better than Zeta? Yes, it does look better, it feels more premium, it, it is a nicer, more expensive figure. But what do you expect when you drop an extra thousand dollars on a figure? You expect it to be more premium and a little bit nicer. But it is kind of a downer that people are saying that it has less articulation, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, what do you guys think in the comments below? I did get quite a few people's responses and thoughts on this, but I expect to get quite a few more. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and try to hear me around.